small town violinist can do. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Excuse me, sir, but I would like to purchase one of those newspapers, please. You see, I've just arrived and I need a place to live. For you? Fifty bucks. Oh dear, that seems awful expensive. Is there any way you could make it a little cheaper? Listen, dude, if you don't got the money, I can't give you a paper. I've got paying customers behind you. Move along, I'm walking here. <laughs> well, I knew things would be a little different here. <laughs> well, here I am, the Big Apple. Nothing but a suitcase and a dream. Excuse me, sir, but can you point me in the direction of the nearest publishing house? I've got a book of my poems here, and I think it's really something special. What do I fucking look like, a tour company? Buy a paper or something! Well, I guess I'll have a pack of gum then. I got a lot of flavors. Come on, you gotta pick a kind. Hurry up, gotta be faster! Well, there's so many choices. They didn't have all these different kinds back in my hometown of Ithaca. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-uh, no, stop. I didn't ask for your whole life story, all right? Now move along, I got paying customers. I'm walking here! <laughs> oh, dear. That wasn't very nice. Oh, well, I can't let them get to me. Be yourself in a world that tries to make you like everyone else. E.B. E. Cummings, you need one, good boy. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, do you know the way to Carnegie Hall? Sorry, I just have one question. No, sir. Uh, pardon me. Wow, what a cute kid. Oh, I thank you. He just turned four today, born and raised right here in Manhattan. What's your name, sport? I'm not telling you, fuck stick. <laughs> Do you have a moment of time? Somebody just stop! 